all right guys this is a short video i'm making on using the simpsons third rule to calculate the area of enclosed space by a straight line and a curve uh, previously i have made videos on simpsons rule number one and rule two and i hope you watch those videos in the description section below i'll give you a link to all the previously made videos in the topic of ship stability so for those of you who don't know what simpsons rules are simpsons rules are uh, rules that are popularly used by mariners and naval architects to calculate the area, volume and geometric center of the space enclosed by a straight line and a curve as shown in the figure here. So we have three Simpsons rules and I have previously made videos on rule 1 and rule 2. This video focuses only on Simpsons third rule which is also known as 5-8 minus 1 rule. All right. So the rule is summarized here where if you see there are um, three consecutive ordinates which are known. So ordinates are the vertical ordinates here A, B and C. And the area between any of two, the, any two of them, can be calculated by using the Simpson's third rule. All right. So the constant here is one by twelve, and uh, area x, which is this area here, can be calculated by this formula here, where h is actually h is uh, equidistant points on the length of the straight line, uh, and uh, you can see this is h so the distance between the ordinates which are equi equidistant placed is called h so h by 12 multiplied by 5a plus 8b minus c will give you area x and area y is calculated by this formula here all right so if you add the two areas together you can get the area of the whole space here so that's the summary of simpson's third rule all right so i'll take one example here to show you how simpson's third rule can be used and how simpson's third rule can sometimes be combined with simpson's first or the second rule as well all right so let's start with the question here so the question here says that uh, the half breadth of a watertight bulkhead at two meter intervals from the bottom are given here so when we say two meter intervals each ordinate is two meter intervals so this in case, this case two meter becomes the h this becomes the h the equidistant points between ordinates you have to find the area between the bottom two semi ordinates and b you have to find the quantity of paint required to coat the entire bulkhead once if the paint covers 10 meter square per liter all right so let's draw it so this is not drawn to scale but this is just drawn to help you visualize the, the question. So here the half breadths are given. That means uh, only half of the breadth is given. To find the total area, you need the full breadth. So whenever you see half breadths written, that means the area that you calculate using the Simpson's rule should be doubled. It should be multiplied by 2 to get the full area that we would get if we were using full breadths. So the question says it's half breadths, but you need full breadths. But because you don't have the full breadths, you can just multiply the area that you calculate by 2. So this is what it looks like. You can see that these 2 meters, each of these 2 meters is basically h. h. So they are equidistant points between the ordinates. Alright. So the 5 ordinates are given to you. What you have to find is basically uh, this area here first between the bottom 2 ordinates. For this area, you have to use the Simpson's third rule. Alright. Simpson's third rule is h by 12 multiplied by 5a plus 8b minus c. Alright, so 5a plus 8b minus c. So the three coordinates are known to you and basically you have to put 5 by 1 here, 8 by 2.9 and 4.2 here. Alright, so what are we trying to do? Find the area between the bottom two semi-ordinates. Alright, so because we are trying to find the area between the bottom two, C becomes the third ordinate for which the area has, does not have to be found. That's why 4.2 is C. So H is the equidistant point. So we put that here. So 2 by 12 multiplied by 5 by A plus 8 by B minus C will give you an area of 4 meters square. So this area here is 4 meters square. That's part A using Simpson's third rule. Simpson's third rule. All right. But the second part of the question says you have to find the paint used or the total number of liters of paint used to paint the whole bulkhead. All right. So basically for that you have to find the total area of the uh, wall. To find the total area you have to use the Simpson's rule one. Alright, because there are 5 ordinates, you can use Simpson's rule 1. 
you don't have to use rule 3 you can use a whole of rule 1 so either you could have uh, done it in combination of rule 1 and rule 3 or sorry rule 2 and rule 3 or you could have done uh, or you could have used calculate the total area using rule 1 so in this case we will calculate the total area using rule 1 because there are five ordinates given to us whenever there are five ordinates given to us we know we can use simpson's rule 1 all right uh, please watch my previous video on Simpsons rule 1 and you will know why we can use uh, Simpsons rule 1 when 5 ordinates are given to us. So they are normally used when 3, 5 and 7 ordinates are given. And then Simpsons multipliers for rule 1 is given. We can put that here 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. We have put all the ordinates here and multiply each one of them to get the product. When we get the product, add them together. So add these all together. To get the sum of the products which is 47.1 all right so when we get the sum of the products as 47.1 then all we have to do is basically put it in the formula for uh, calculating the area using simpson's rule one which is h by three multiplied by sum of products but because these are half breaths we will not be using h by three multiplied by sum of products but two h by three multiplied by sum of products as you see here Alright, so 2 h by 3 multiplied by sum of products. So the value of h is given to us as 2 and then put the values in and you can calculate the total area. The total area that you get is 62.8 meters square. So if the total area is 62.8 meters square and you need 10 meters square, uh, 10 liters of paint for uh, per area of meter square, you need 10 meters, sorry, so you need uh, 1 liter for 10 meters square per area and you have if your total area is 62.8 meters square just divide it by 10 to get the total quantity of paint required which is 6.28 liters all right so i hope this was uh, useful to you and uh, this video basically tried to show you how to apply simpson's rule 3 uh, but uh, this question could have been solved by a combination of simpson's rule 2 and rule 3 or calculating the total area by Simpson's rule 1 but because I wanted to show you Simpson's rule 3 this is the rule that I initially applied all right so it's a straightforward rule simple rule uh, I have just taken one question here for explaining Simpson's third rule if you have any questions on your mind or if you want me to solve some specific questions just send me the question details and I'm happy to solve it for you guys all right thank you for watching guys please make sure that you watch all the videos in the series of ship stability before you watch this video I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye and all the best with your studies.